Broadcasting. This is Roger Bergato Fisher, Communications, Moonbase Theta. The date is August 18th, 2098. Time is 9.22 and 36 seconds. They shut down 18 weeks. The supply rocket has not arrived. With our ongoing transmission issues, we are only alerted when the rocket reaches line of sight with data or if a message is sent via satellite, of which there are none currently within range. Thus, we have no news as to whether this is a delay en route, if the rocket was ever launched, or if there was some more significant issue of which we have not been informed. The primary consideration with this delay is the helium-3 stores. The tanks are currently on the surface awaiting retrieval. However, the loading dock is within full sunlight. We shifted back today this week, and it is difficult to maintain temperature for superfluid storage. Moving the tanks back underground would cause significant delays when the rocket does eventually arrive, but may prove necessary. And of course, vehicle access to retrieve will require additional approval <clears throat> from base security. Most standard on- and offload items are lower priority, although since Nessa has taken over rationing and run an inventory, it is noted we are dangerously low on chocolate. Stasis pods, as per your recent instructions, will be maintained on base for the time being. I've provided a log of the warning light configurations we've noted. If you cannot release the other base logs, then, then please have your analysts compare and advise from that data. There are only three more rockets scheduled over which we can spread the offload of our personnel. In the meantime, we have begun to sterilize and decommission unused station areas. As mentioned in my previous broadcasts, there were a few issues that required additional sterilization, and we've only just moved on to the crew quarters. While everyone was requested to move personal items into storage, wipe all media files, and initiate their own cleaning protocols, this has not turned out to be the case. It's like being a resident assistant after dorm checkout. Dirty clothing stuffed into cubby holes, used food trays, though these did allow us to secure most of the fruit flies, which had disappeared from the genetics lab, a variety of contraceptive devices, several religious icons, several football banners, which were of course banned from open display during the last World Cup, three pizza pops, which Nissa has confirmed were never part of official stores, and one hedgehog who had been written off as deceased in the labs, apparently being kept as a pet. Finally, some of the hydroponics equipment from our farm made its way back to the personal quarters of Harold McVett, Agriculture. I only mention this because the particular crop they were cultivating may have had to do with their respiratory issues. <clears throat> As required by the Entertainment Wing, we have been checking all media files for rights management. There were several bootleg copies of Shanai Commandos being passed around, as well as multi-tracks by Depression Z and a few questionable Cortex apps. All details were logged and provided to Michelle for reporting. It appears that the satellite has moved into range while I compose this message with no updates regarding the status of our supply rocket. P please reply as soon as you receive this broadcast. Alessandra, I'm sorry, I, I have to get this sent out. All my love, please take care of yourself. I'm already looking forward to the day I'm back in our terrible lumpy bed. Moonbase Theta, out. Moonbase Theta Out is a Monkey Man Productions podcast. You can find more information on our website, monkeymanproductions.com, or find us on Facebook or Twitter. You can also support us at patreon.com slash monkeymanproductions and get behind-the-scenes info, including early access to the entire season at once. Moonbase Theta Out is written by DJ Silvis and performed by Lehman Kessler. Music is the track Star by the band Ramp. You can find more about them at ramp-music.net. Monkey Man Productions, 